So, hello guys, welcome to the another video from the lecture series CSI Detail. In this video, we are going to further learn about the detailing menu here. And in previous video, we have studied about the file edit and the view menu. Now we are going to study more about the detailing option. A model is already opened in the CSI Detail software. So, I have showed you in the previous video how you can open a drawing. Okay. So, as you can see, the drawing is right now locked. Uh, if we are going to make any change here, we must have to unlock it first. Okay, so for example, if I go to detail, now we are going to study these options. Okay, so let's say start talking about the concrete detailing preferences. We will unlock the model later on. Okay, if I go to concrete detailing preferences, it is having a bunch of options slabs, beams, columns, and walls. Let's say we have designed beams, columns, and wall in this project because we don't have designing of the slabs here. Let's click on big. If you have the slabs, you can click on the slab also. Let's click on Bing. There will be a pop-up window on front of us, and it is giving us a bunch of options here. First, it is saying that the what will be the label prefix for a beam. You can see in the layout that the beams are shown as at 8 CB 5 S1. This 8 means it is on the 8 story. CB is the concrete beam. Okay, and that uh, 5 is the number to it. This is the first number of uh, beam, and S1 is the span one. Okay, so this CB is predefined in the uh, CSI detail. You can change it, you can just write it concrete beam, or you can just write it beam. Okay, so you can go to detailing concrete detailing preferences and go to beam. You can see you can change it to anything else. Okay, but I'll tell you just take it, yeah, write it as a CB. It's kind of a very good thing that you can uh, relate it to CC that is concrete column, CB. That means uh, uh, concrete beam, S beam, beam, steel beam. These are quite like uh, basic things. Okay. Below to that, we are having layout plane, uh, the scale of layout plan. Okay, elevation and the elevation vertical scales and all that. No need to change this scale because uh, when you are going to export your drawing, you can do it in your the AutoCAD. Okay, so don't uh, alter anything here. Okay. On the right hand side, we are having option basic text height. What kind of text height you need? You can see that uh, that HCB5S1 is written in some prescribed uh, height. Okay, so if you can't see it, or it's kind of a very low height, or it's kind of a very huge, you can just scale it down by this option that is basic text height. We are having basic symbol size. If you are having any symbol right there in your drawing, like arrowheads or uh, encircling of anything, you can just uh, change it from there. We are having line thickness. There are various lines behind behind it. You can see there are dash line, there are continuous lines. Okay, so you can change those things as well. There's a very main and uh, option here. You can see auto group similar beam. Whenever the CS, uh, CSI detail or the ETAB is going to think that they, these two beams are having same span, same reinforcement, same forces, that it is going to grip, group those beams into a similar section. So, it will be a good practice to uh, check this box that is auto group similar beams. It is going to reduce your uh, number of drawings and it is you going to reduce your uh, time also uh, for thinking key, uh, how much reinforcement is going to be applied in each of the each of those beams. You can just uh, copy paste one of the beams reinforcement into the others. Okay. So, these are the options for the beams. You can go into columns. Same things with the column. But you can see there is a change here. Uh, it is saying label prefix CC, but if you go to the uh, beam, uh, sorry, if you go to the beam, you can see it is having an add story number option. In the concrete beams, it is having an option of add story number that the story you can see 8 CB1, 8 is the story number. But if you go to column, you can just go to column from right here also. But if you go to column, there is no story number. Okay, why? It is because columns start from the base and they are continuous. They go on to the top of the building. There is nothing like story one, story two, story three for the columns. They are same for story one, two, three, four, five, and all. Okay, so there is no story number here. We have the same options, which is basic height, basic symbol size, and the layout plan. Same goes with the walls also. We are having panel label style. How you are how you need to label those, like one, two, three, or A, B, C. Okay, you can do it by any way. There's the same option here, that is basic text height, symbol light, and line thickness. You can change all this thing from here. Same goes for the slabs also. We are not having slabs right now, so you can just check out and buy your own. Okay. So this was about concrete detailing preferences. Same goes with the steel detailing preferences.
okay if you want to be all the things are same sb is for steel beams okay so we are not designing steel right now we are we don't have a steel structure right now so you can do it on your own then we have added design reinforcement if i go into beam because we don't have a slab right now so if i uh, select the you can see we are having reinforcement okay um, um, you can't do any much in this thing okay because you already having the model from e types okay now there is another important option that is rebar selection rule when the detailing is going to get start what kind of rebar selection rule you want to follow that can be defined in this option okay if i go to beam we are having non seismic and seismic what kind of model you are having what kind of reinforcement you are defining for the uh, structure okay if it is a seismic then it will different if it is a non seismic it can also be but different so let's say i uh, define for the seismic if i click seismic you can see there are a bunch of options in the front of us and the beam tab is right now selected you can see the smallest bar size in the a portion i have told you what is a b c d portion in the a portion is 14 in b is 14 you can change this thing. you can click on this you can go to 8 you can click this 8 you can change all the other things it is asking what kind of largest bar size you can afford or you want to use you can go and like 32 okay you can change all this things. preferred bar size what is the preferred bar what kind of size you prefer oh and you can go and change anything yeah, these are strips on the right hand side you can do it from here also what kind of minimum number of bars you need okay what are the maximum number of bars you need? what is the minimum spacing you need what is the maximum spacing you need these are some kind of default values that are already fixed by the csi data i'll strongly recommend you to please go and change all this one because it is saying it is a 14 dia bar but generally we don't use 14 dia bar okay so you can change these things later on okay we are having curtailment rules okay where you want to curtail all these things uh, as we have already selected is 456 these all these things are already uh, designed as per the is 456 okay so don't go don't go and change this the curtailment is already done very nice clear span and center to uh, center to center span you can change it and if you have any other option of curtailment you can do it now Uh, at this moment of time i won't change anything i'll just press cancel and cancel okay you can go and there is another option you know, define typical bars rebar set if you have any rebar set you can add it in the previous video i have already told you uh, and at this time you can uh, define the typical rebar set in two ways that is for seismic and non seismic if i click add new rule seismic there will be a new seismic new rule here you can modify it okay by clicking modify and you can change all those these uh, things again that is the number of bars in the a portion okay the number bar size this will be a kind of a uh, rule that you are going to follow in your designs okay if you want to delete it you can just delete it okay let's say delete it okay so you can again add it if you want so at this moment i'll just cancel it now there is an option of assigning typical rebar if you want to assign that set the set will come here and you can sorry, you can assign that option to the all the floors of the master floor master floors or the selected floors okay so you can uh, work in either ways you can apply it to the whole system or you can just apply it to the uh, specific beams also okay added detail reinforcement is there again if you want to any uh, add it anything from here uh, you can add it this will be the uh, bar sizes of all the beams okay Uh, i strongly recommend you not to do, don't do this it will to automatically generate uh, when you going to define a typical rebar okay there is a add modify section uh, if you click on beam you can see there is a pop up in front of us okay i hope uh, it is visible okay so you can uh, you see that there is uh, there are uh, two sections right now a section and b section if you click on b uh, Uh, there will be a section there if you click on a there will be an a section if you want to add any extra section you can see on the top we are having add new section if i click and another section will be added if i click on delete that option will be deleted okay you can delete if you want to you can do anything okay if you select it and you press delete it will be deleted press it delete it it will be deleted you can add you can add again okay so you can do it either Okay, so the, this is not that much important, but because CSI detail already um, generates sections on the basis of that uh, beam, 
so it will be quite useful for you so you need not to go into add modify section so this was all about detailing option so this is what uh, this is all for this video if you like this uh, please do uh, like this comment and please subscribe to my channel if you have any problem please do comment and like okay meet you in the next video thank you bye bye